You've probably noticed that if you go to create a thread here in Fusion and select your model, you can't actually make a custom thread, but there is a workaround if you use an XML document. So in my case, I already made this custom thread and I have all these different parameters here. And if I show you that document now, I essentially write all the specs here and you'll see each one correlates with a different parameter here and make the thread you want. And I'll have this uh, file in the video description if you want to download it but you'll see like the name right here is what appears in Fusion, the unit's inches and all the different features of it. Thread designation and CTD are the same thing, your threads per inch and so on. Uh, this would be your external side where this is your internal end, um, more or less pretty self-explanatory. But then once you create the thread that you want, you would take this document and input it into the Fusion file itself. So if I click here, you can see the exact file path. I'll put this in the description too. Um, but you would essentially follow all these different steps. And then at the production point, these are your builds. So you really just, you may have a bunch of these and you'll just have to pick whichever one is the one you're using. It's just trial and error, but you'll find this. And then from here, you'll go to fusion server fusion config and thread data. And here you'll just drag and drop your XML document. And then once you restart Fusion, it'll just populate here.